Mrs. Murphy, Beth Murphy, Elizabeth. I am the principal of this high school. I've been the principal here for a long time, 10 years, probably longer than that. You sort of lose track after a while. Anyways, I have a great group of teachers and I think we have a pretty good relationship. I have reason to think they like me. I guess this says it all. When I saw it at Goodwill, I just had to buy it. That's pathetic. Just saying. Seriously? Where did you get that? It doesn't matter. <clears throat> so what exactly are you doing here? They're here to do a documentary about the incident. Can't they talk for themselves? They're from some small documentary company looking for a high school controversy to do a movie about. They saw the article in the Gazette. They're observing, silently observing. Dum, da dum, 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 dum. <laughs> Take a lot of dance lessons, did you? 14 years of ballet, tap, and jazz at your service. So how long are you gonna be here? Today through Friday. That's pointless. But you approved it. I approve 100 pointless things a day. It doesn't make it right. Did you start the investigation yet? I haven't done anything yet. I don't see what the big deal is, honestly. She gets all worked up. I'll start some student task force or something. It'll be fine. This is the Galena High School class of 1939 class photo. Except it isn't. As you can see- Vandalism. Someone took out the student photos and replaced them with cartoon characters. I don't know where the originals are, it's sort of a shame, really. A little bit of Galena history lost. See, down here, where Bert Harley is, is Homer Simpson. That's Bart Simpson. How do you not know that? I don't know Bart Simpson. Homer's old. Bart's a kid. Okay, smarty pants. Who's that? Batman, duh. And that? That's... I don't know that one. That's not a cool cartoon. I only know cool cartoon characters. Bugs Bunny, Loretta Lockhorn, Snuffy Smith, Bill from Schoolhouse Rock, Heckle, Moon Mullins, Flash Gordon, Snoopy, Scamp, Charlie Brown, Mr. Magoo, Batman, Daria, Bobby Hill, Angelica Pickles, Dennis the Menace, George Jetson, Fat Albert, Butthead, Boris Badenoff, Woody Woodpecker, Kathy, Brenda Starr, Rex Morgan, MD, Porky Pig, Eric Cartman, Hobbs, Hagar the Horrible, Betty Boop, Popeye, Lois, Dagwood Bumstead, Woodstock, Mallard Fillmore, Ziggy, Dick Tracy, Speed Racer, Garfield, Mickey Mouse, Mike Doonesbury, Dogbert, Funky Winkerbean, Jungle Jim, Bart Simpson, Jose Carioca, Archie Andrews, uh, Odie, Sally Forth. This one I don't know. It's really old. Probably from like the 1800s or something. Mark Trail! Duh! Hey you! Hooligans! Get over here! Us? Are you talking to us? Yeah, you. Get over here. We are hooligans, by the way. Speak for yourself! I'm Eric Campbell, sophomore class president, not a hooligan. You met me and my parents at the thing. Look kid, this is my first year at the school. We're in the middle of a pandemic. You think I have time to learn kids' names? But I'm sophomore class president. Oh, you're sophomore class president. I beg your pardon, your highness. Yeah, your highness. No one cares. Shut up, Gator. You can barely read. Oh, burn. You can barely read? What are you, like 16? What kind of school is this? Is there something that you wanted, Mr. Vincent? Oh, yeah. You three are, are now the student task force in charge of investigating that recent vandalism event. You mean the class picture comic book thing? Yeah. Figure it out and get back to me by the end of the week. Oh, and these, uh, Cameras, they're a documentary company that'll be following you around everywhere. Like on The Office? Can I be Dwight? No, you can be Kevin. You can be Pam. Look, just solve the case and get back to me so that I can suspend someone. Suspending students is the best part of this job. Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go back to my office and ignore about 3,000 parent emails.
I don't want to be Kevin. So this is where that class picture usually hangs. I just don't understand what we're doing here. We all know who did this. We don't all know who did this. And I'm looking for clues. Who did it? You guys know who did it? Yes. No. Now look for clues. We're on the second floor. You think that's a clue? It's not not a clue. Can you just help? The second floor. Home of science, social studies, and English. All of the smart teachers. And vandalism. Maybe one of the teachers saw something. Well, there you go. Now you're thinking. You should interview the teachers and see what they saw. There he is. There he is. There he is. Who? Guys, that's the down staircase. Chris? You think Chris did it? Of course he did it. I know he did it. Chris is the worst. When we were in 8th grade, we were like a thing. He was so nice back then. Smart, funny, cute. Then when we got into high school, he changed. He started hanging out with Trevor Donnelly. Food fight! <laughs> Trevor Donnelly is famous in our town because one time he streaked through gym class. I mean, come on. Streaking? Who even does that? That would have been cool maybe 50 years ago. Now it's just dumb. And no one wants to see that. Anyway, I broke up with Chris, and since then, he's just gotten worse. Trevor's a bad influence. Maybe Trevor Donnelly did it. Trevor Donnelly can never pull something like this off. Switching out all those photos took time and planning. Maybe I did it. Yeah, right. You're way too dumb. Uh, I think my class ranks higher than yours. False. No way. Yes way. Check it out sometime. Look. Let's just save a lot of time and go and ask Chris. He'll probably just admit it. What are you guys talking about? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. Hey Angela, if you were a character on The Office, what character would you be? Pam. No, you'd be Angela. Duh. Well, you'd be Kevin. <laughs> Told ya. No, I'm Dwight. Who would ever want to be Dwight? Me. He's cool. He knows stuff. Um... Maybe Amish stuff. Stuff is stuff. Is this what you guys were talking about? No, we were talking about- Gator, let's just go. Okay, geez, is this a big secret or something? We're going. What secret? Bye, monkey. My name is Christopher Barrett Cross. I'm a sophomore. What else do you want to know? We want to know if you know anything about the second floor vandalism. What second floor vandalism? Come on, Chris, you know. I know what? About the class picture. Oh, that cartoon thing? What makes you think I know anything about that? Wait, do you think I did that? I didn't do that. Yeah, sure, Chris. She's just saying that because she hates me. Ever since I broke up with her at the eighth grade promotion dance, she's hated me. You broke up with her? Dude! No! Don't lie, Lindsay. I totally broke up with you. He did not break up with me. We were at the dance and the song came on. It's called Sailing. It's old. That song drives Chris crazy because it's by a singer named Christopher Cross. People used to play songs to make him mad. They have the same name, Christopher Cross. Anyway, one of those songs were played at the dance and Chris got so mad. It was embarrassing. I broke up with him then, but it's not like we didn't have any other problems. This is huge. Everyone thought Lindsay broke up with Chris. I'm shocked that Chris would break up with Lindsay. Why would he ever do that? It's practically inconceivable. She's so funny and pretty and smart. She's the whole package. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. Look, it's complicated. Technically, she did break up with me at the eighth grade promotion dance, but that's only because I tried to break up with her right before the dance. But. I got interrupted. She knew it was coming. She did a preemptive breakup. And will someone please tell Mr. Jenkins I used the word preemptive? English one vocab word. Anyways, I didn't do the vandalism. I'm not a vandal. You kind of seem like a criminal these days. Criminal? Come on, what crimes have I done? You start a lot of trouble. That's not a crime, and it isn't that much trouble. If you didn't do it, then who did? How should I know? Your criminal connections. I don't have any criminal connections. And if you really want to know what's going on in this school, you know who to ask. Who? Let's go. Who? Come on, Gator. Who? 
you did not break up with me. <sighs> what is happening? Hi, Stuart. How are you? What do you want? I was wondering if you could help us with something. Who's us? The student task force. Why would Vincent choose you for the student task force? You aren't especially smart or anything. Be nice. That was me being nice. He chose Gator too. Gator's less smart than me, so. Gator Ramsack is smarter than you. He's almost smarter than me. What are you talking about? He's a dummy. If you say so. I'm smarter than Gator. <laughs> I would expect someone of your intelligence level to believe that. Daisy Kishler just looked at Johnny Panko and blushed. What? Daisy Kishler what? And Gianna is not happy about it. Timestamp, Monday, 12-11 p.m. Do you keep notebooks with all that stuff or what? Nope. All up here. Do you know who did the vandalism then? Do I look like a snitch? Don't you go to Mrs. Murphy every Friday with a list of student infractions? That's a room. So you don't? I didn't say that. I just said it's a rumor. So you do. You are annoying me now. Step away. Wait. Well, let's just say you know who did the vandalism. Would you tell me? Drew Allen has to go to the bathroom, but he told me. Timestamp, Monday, 12, 12 p.m. Are you like Rain Man? Rain Man wishes he had my power of recall. Gianna Sanfilippo, go bite of her apple. Timestamp, Monday, 12, 12 p.m. Are you making fun of me? No, I'm helping. Those aren't the kinds of things that I observe. I observe people unobtrusively and look for behavior patterns and deviations. I take notice of gesture clusters and, yes, I'll just say it, body language. I have years of data on these people. When you see Lindsay Jacobs raise both her eyebrows, you might think she's surprised but I know that actually she has just started her period. I'm planning to join the CIA directly out of high school. I've already made inquiries. Will you help me or not? Yes, I'll help you. Okay, who did it then? I don't know yet. I need to interrogate a few people. Interrogate, do we have to call it that? Call it whatever you want, but it will be an interrogation. I'll get you a list of names. I gotta go. My name is Daisy Kishler, and I'm Gianna. Ow! Gianna Sanfilippo. We're freshmen, but we have a theory. We think a parent or a teacher did it. Because who would ever suspect a parent or a teacher? Parents don't do vandalism. Or teachers. But wait, no. We are saying we do think a parent or teacher did it. Did vandalism. Because most parents and teachers don't do that stuff. Some do. My uncle did. Your uncle Rick? I liked your uncle Rick. No, my uncle Bill. He's in prison now. Keep your mask on. Ow! You touched my face! Sorry. It's okay. What did your Uncle Bell do? You wanna know? Yeah. Arson. Mask! Ow! I'm gonna kill you! Keep your mask on! <sighs> Ow. What are you guys talking about? Who did the vandalism? We think it's parents or teachers. Is that what this documentary is about? Oh. Well, it wasn't me, just for the record. Why would anyone think it was you? I don't know, but it wasn't. Calm down, weirdo. I'm perfectly calm, weirdo. Oh, Daisy. I heard Johnny Pick was gonna ask you to virtual homecoming today after school. What? I thought he was gonna ask me. It's definitely Daisy. Trevor Donnelly, Johnny Panko, Mr. Tancrell, Garth Rowley, Drew Allen, Mrs. McIntyre, Mr. Foster, Gator Ramstack. Oh, snap. 
April Wagner, and Ryan Smith. What's this? The cast of this year's America's Next Top Model. <laughs> this is the list of people that Stuart wants to interrogate. I'm not on the list. Nope. But I want to be in a documentary. Why? Because I plan to have a big time television career, and this would be a good way to kick it off. Put me on the list. I'm good intel. About the vandalism? Oh, yeah. Well, you know you're already in the documentary. This is gonna be in it? Why do you think they're filming it? For their health? The weather in the tri-state areas is, expe is expected to be extremely foggy in low-lying areas. You can expect temperatures in the mid-40s and fair skies. This is Blaze Winter, your TV7 meteorologist, signing off. You're going to meteorology school? No, school, no. That's just a fancy term for weatherman. It doesn't mean anything. No, it's a thing. You have to go to school for that. I'm not going to go to college. I specifically picked weatherman because no skills were needed other than handsomeness and a good voice. I'll just be a reporter. That's journalism school. <clears throat> hey, pull it there! Just be a presenter, like Ryan Seacrest or the Dancing with the Stars guy. No, that guy is gone. The host now is Tyra Max from America's Next Top Model. <laughs> She's great. I love me some Tyra Banks. We have to get Stuart with these people tomorrow. He thinks he can crack the case. Join us next time for, for the next exciting episode of High School Vandals Exposed. I'm your host, Blaze Winter, signing off. Hey, you're gonna use this, right? I can do impressions too. You know, like Chris Rock? Hey Trevor, can we talk to you for a minute? Uh-oh, it's the kid cops. You're our same age. We aren't the cops. We just want to ask Trevor a couple of questions. About what? Second floor vandalism. I don't know anything about that. But do you know anything about where you were on June 1st and 2nd of 2019? <sighs> that, that was over a year ago. I don't know where it was then. Just answer the question. Okay, geez. Um, yeah, I don't know where I was then. That was last summer. Stuart, do you know where Trevor was June 1st and 2nd of 2019? Of course I do. I know where each were, one of you were on those dates. So weird. Really? Where was I? Easy. You are at your grandmother's house helping her paint her new she shed. Oh man, he's right. I forgot about that. Stuart, can you please just tell us where Trevor was? We don't need this drama. I'll give him a hint. He was in Chicago. That seems like more than just a hint. But where in Chicago? Oh, oh, I was at the Comic-Con Revolution. That thing was awesome. And what kind of people would go to something like Comic-Con Revolution? Cool people. No, wrong. People who like comic book characters. And superhero movies, uh, probably. Superhero movies are based on comic books, Johnny. Okay, sorry. What's your point? My point is, whoever vandalized the class of 1939 photo decided to swap out the pictures with comic book characters. So I have to spell it out for you, J-O-H-N-N-Y, question mark. So you're saying that Trevor's the one that perpetrated the vandalism because it was comic book related and he likes comics? Correct, Amundo. But everyone likes comics. I like comics. But have you ever been to something like a comic book convention? No way. That's super dorky. Hey! Johnny, do you know who this is? Uh, I don't know. Daffy Duck? Wrong! How about you? One of Daffy Duck's nephews? You mean Huey, Dewey, and Louie? I guess. Wrong! Daffy Duck has no nephews. Moron. <sighs> Mallard Fillmore. I rest my case. Okay, but that doesn't mean I did it. I, I don't care enough about this stupid school to pay play a prank on it. So what do you call all the other stuff that you've done then? The streaking, the food fight, turning Coach Reed's car on its side. Uh, that was more done just in the moment. It wasn't planned. Look, I, I don't, I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna plan something super hard like this comic book thing. I have a life, you know. Stuart, did you have any questions for Johnny? I know he was on your list, and you may as well do him now. That's what she said. John, I do have some questions for you, Johnny Panko. Johnny Panko, 
I hear you're going to ask someone to the virtual homecoming dance today. What does this have to do with anything? Just answer the question! Was that a question? I think you were just making a statement. Then I'll rephrase. Who were you going to ask to the virtual homecoming dance today? Uh, do I have to answer this? We are empowered by Superintendent Vincent, so this goes to the very top. Yes, you have to answer this. Well, this is kind of personal, but I was planning to ask Gianna Sanfilippo. You weren't going to ask Daisy Kishler? If Gianna says no, then I'm going to ask Daisy. Will Gianna say no? I don't think so. I think she likes him. Are you planning on asking Daisy? I'm the one asking the questions here. I have no further questions. Can I uh, talk to you? Sure, what's up? Um, the, the virtual homecoming is coming up in two weeks. Yeah, I'm excited. The freshmen are in charge of the virtual snacks. I know that you wanted to go with the Johnny Panko. Oh, um, what? Who told you that? You did. No. Yes, you did. With your body language. Don't deny it, I know it's true. But here's the thing. He doesn't want to go with you. What? What? He's going to ask someone else. Who? Who? Gianna. Me? Oh. I'm sorry. I know this must make you sad, but who you go to a high school dance with is really just a minuscule blip on the timeline of your life and will have no lasting effects on your future successes or failures. Right. Did you want to go with me? I, I know I'm not your first choice and I accept that. And I will still strive to make your very first homecoming as mem memorable as it can possibly be. So, will you? Are you sure about Johnny? 100%. Okay. Yes, I'll go with you. I understand. I knew it was a long shot, but... Wait. What did you say? I said I'll go with you. Excellent. Very good. Daisy Kishler said yes. Timestamp. Tuesday, 11.49 a.m. I'm going to virtual homecoming with a senior. <sighs> I'm sure he'll be here any minute. You got three minutes and I'm going to lunch. In the teacher's lounge? Yeah. What goes on in there? We eat. We talk about all the dumb things that our students did today. Every now and then, Mr. Vincent comes in and brags about all the free time he has. Do you guys ever have love affairs in there? What? Are you insane? I'm married. Besides, who would I have a love affair with anyways? <sighs> I've heard that teacher's lounges were hotbeds for love affairs. No. They look like classrooms, they smell like locker rooms, and it's always 85 degrees in there. I'd rather have lunch in my car. Why don't you? I love the gossip. Mr. Kaplan, at long last. Sorry. Mr. Tancrell needs to go to his lunch. Can you do this fast? Question number one. Have you ever seen anyone loitering around the class of 1939 photo, which can be seen through the window in your door? I don't know. There's always kids standing around out there. Question number two. Have you ever seen April Wagner loitering around the class of 1939 photo, which can be seen through the window in your door? Hmm. Now that you mention it, April Wagner has been out there a lot. What made you remember that? Because she stands under the photo, but her eyes are staring at my window. She makes me nervous. Question number three. Have you ever seen April Wagner staring at the class of 1939 photo, which can be seen through the window in your door? Don't ever do that again. Maybe. I don't know. I try not to make any eye contact with April Wagner. Question number four. If you were taking someone to a virtual homecoming, what restaurant would you virtually take them to? Does it have to be in Galena? No. It can be anywhere in the world. No question. Las Padania on Boulevard, Henro, Rodolfo, Sanchez, on Tobata. 
in Tijuana, Mexico. Get the steak. Now, can I go? Yes, thank you. Stuart, are you doing a virtual homecoming? I am. With a date? Naturally. Is it Daisy Kishler? It is indeed. I'm happy for you. I'm not jealous of Daisy. I don't want to go to the dance with Stuart. He's kind of intense. But I do wish someone would ask me. Someone I like. No, I'm not going to the dance. It's only virtual anyway. And there isn't really a girl I like enough to ask. No, I'm not going to homecoming. I have a girlfriend, but she doesn't go to the school. And she'd be very mad if I asked somebody else. She's very possessive. She's a college girl. A college girl who models. She goes to a college in Canada. You know how it is. I didn't go to any of my homecomings. I was awkward back then. Now I'm cool and confident, but back then it was different. I had bad acne and scoliosis and halitosis and my toes were webbed. But I fixed all that right now and everything's a-okay. <sighs> Although I wish I could have gone to a school dance. I went to all of my high school dances. I went with Mike, my husband. Oh wait. We didn't go to my junior prom because I was in labor. I didn't go to the dances. We just went to the parking lot and sat in our cars and did. You know, never mind. Dances weren't even invented when I went to high school. I'm planning to ask Lindsay to go to the virtual homecoming with me. The weather at the virtual homecoming is expected to be cold and clear. It's going to be a great night to fall in love. This is Blaze Winter for News 7. Signing off. So, Gianna. Yeah? There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hey, what Lindsay, is it? Hold on. Would you like to go to the dance? Hi, Chris. Hi, Angela. Lindsay, can I talk to you? About what? You don't mind. It's kind of personal. But what's the subject? Personal stuff. Someone never tells me anything. That girl's weird. I think she's nice. Probably. I don't really know her. Look. I wanted to talk to you about some stuff. Yeah? Yeah. I know you're mad at me. I know you don't like some of the people I hang out with. Like Trevor Donnelly? Yeah, but the thing is, he really isn't that bad. I think you just judge him based on surface stuff, and really he's funny and smart. Well, it sounds like you want to marry him. No, I don't want to marry him. Not that there would be anything wrong with that. I'm just saying that you should give him more of a chance. You want me to marry him? No, Lindsay, come on. Look. Things got crazy between us. We used to get along so well, and now we can't even be around each other. I miss having you as a friend. Well, it seems like you've been making choices that make it impossible for us to be friends. I want to change that. I want us to try and get along. What exactly are you saying? When you get caught between the moon and New York City. Seriously? I know it's crazy, but it's true. <laughs> you suck, Blaze. Now leave me alone, jerk. What's going on? Garth, Stuart's just going to ask you some questions. About the house robberies? No. What house robberies? It's about your unhealthy obsession with Locker 186. What's with 186? And don't interrupt. It's directly under the class of 1939 class photo. That's my locker. Liar! Your sign locker is number 118. I kind of forgot which locker was mine, so I just picked an empty one. How do you forget which locker is yours? How is that even possible? Answer me with words! Hi! Hi, Daisy. Hi, Daisy. You can go. You can go. Go! 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 I needed Garth, actually. Classic Stewart. <laughs> Is this the student task force? Yes. I'm the president of the student task force. No, you aren't. Eric. 
Miss Murphy sent me here to check on you guys to quote, make sure you're getting to the bottom of things, and if you're not, I'm supposed to take over. What the heck? We're getting to the bottom of things. It's only day two of the investigation. We have until the end of the week. Then tell me what you know so far. Why? What makes you so qualified to oversee us this way? Well, I'm a senior, I play volleyball, I'm on student council, and I was on prom court. You were not prom queen. I said court. I was on prom court. So you lost, basically. I was nominated. Have you ever been nominated? He's never been nominated. Are you kidding me? I've been nominated. I won freshman year. Big deal! I won freshman year too. Everybody wins freshman year. False. That's mathematically impossible. Oh, hey Stuart. I didn't see you there. One of my greatest skills. So are you on the committee? I was conscripted, yes. English one vocabulary word. Nice. So basically you're running everything. Yes. No. He's just helping. Fine. I'll go then. Dun dun dun. Stuart, don't go. We need you. Yes, yeah, Stuart. Don't go. Obviously you're the only one who knows what they're doing. I'm attracted to big brains. I always have been. I can't help myself. So far we've questioned Trevor Donnelly, Johnny Panko, Mr. Tankrell, and Garth Rowley. And Christopher Cross. That wasn't an official interrogation. And besides, Chris didn't do it. We still need to question Drew Allen, Mrs. McIntyre, Mr. Boster, Gator Ramsack, April Wagner, and Ryan Smith. Drew Allen has lunch this period. Let's go. I'll sit in. Please do. Wait, Chris didn't do it? No way. Actual crime isn't in his profile. And besides, he was staying at his cousin's house in Maquoketa the night the photos were swapped out. He didn't leave the house the whole night. And do you know this how? That's confidential. Drew, we need to ask you a couple of questions. Stuart does. Okay. I'm just telling you right now, I didn't do it. You aren't a suspect, Angela. Hey, Angela, remember when I said that in the office, you'd be Angela? Well, I changed my mind. You'd be Jan. Because you're nuts. You're nuts. Jan is a nut? She's artistic. Oh, okay. So what's happening? An, An interrogation. interrogation. First question. What is your mother's name? Amanda. Sarah? Not you, Angela. Last name, please. Amanda Allen. Maiden name. Oh, Amanda Green. Sarah Lowell. Second question. <laughs> what is Amanda Green's father's name? Amanda Green's father, my grandpa, uh, Horace Green. William Lowell. We can hear you, Jan. Third question. Where did your grandfather go to high school? Here in Galena. My whole family's from Galena. Somewhere in Chicago. Fourth question. Was your grandfather a member of the class of 1939? Uh, I'm not sure when he graduated. Why? Your grandfather was a member of the class of 1939 and appeared in the vandalized class photo. Okay, but he didn't know. Final question. Did you hate your grandfather? No. False. Do you want to go to virtual homecoming with me? Absolutely I do. Stuart. I'm sorry, Daisy. I never meant to hurt you and I still fully admire you. But this connection I have with Charlotte is undeniable. You stink. I'm glad you're happy, and I didn't really like you very much anyway, but you stink. My sincerest apologies to you and your family, and to your dog, Raffle. I don't hate my grandpa. I didn't really know him, except he used to be really mean while I was a child, but I don't hate him. Plus, he's dead. He got ran over by a tractor when I was 10. So, is Drew still a suspect? Absolutely he is!
Oh, sorry. Sorry. Anyway, interrogation. What's this now? Stuart wants to ask a few questions. We're the student committee investigating the vandalism. Okay. Well, I'm running late. Walk with me. Go ahead, Stuart. I don't know if I can work like this. Come on, kids. You're losing my window. Okay. You're the driver's ed teacher, correct? You know this is correct. I failed you. Twice. I struggle with spatial coordination. He can't parallel park worth a darn. Plus, he sweats like a pig when he drives. I had to hose the car down after. That's an exaggeration. Quit arguing and ask your questions. We're almost a temperature check. Where was the driver's ed car the night of October 4th? A week ago Sunday? Probably in the lot, where it always is. False. It was at Copyworks in Dubuque, Iowa. Are you stalking me, Stuart? I stalk everyone. Don't feel special. Fine. I was at Copyworks. Were you printing up pictures of cartoon characters? What? That isn't what I thought you were going to say. Just answer the question. Watch it, Mr. Kaplan. You're getting dangerously sassy. Don't make me lose my easygoing ways and give you a referral. We're sorry, Mrs. McIntyre. Stuart's sorry. To answer your question, no, I was not making cartoon character copies. If you must know, I was copying my resume. Are you looking for a different teaching job? No, we love you, Mrs. M. I'm not looking for a new teaching job. Actually, I'm looking to change your careers completely. To what? What could be better than teaching? I want to be a long-haul trucker. That's a weird choice. Well, you come to me when you have a bunch of kids and a husband who's taken on a home karaoke as a pandemic hobby. You would want some time to yourself, too. Plus, long-haul truckers can make up to 80 grand a year if they stick with it and keep their record clean. And as we all know, I'm an excellent driver. Will you come visit us when you're a big-time long-haul trucker? You know I will. Will you give me one more parallel parking lesson before you go? <laughs> oh, Stuart. Of course. I can always use a good laugh. All right, well, I better get to class. I can't get lazy at school until I know I have the new gig. I can't believe she's leaving. Aw, Gator. Sorry, I suffer from separation anxiety. It's from when you were four and your mom fired the babysitter your dad since you were born. You never saw that babysitter again. Miss Jenny, I forgot about her. She was the best babysitter. She was a kleptomaniac. She ended up in jail. How do you know this stuff? When I was in sixth grade, Stuart told me my parents were going to get a divorce. I couldn't believe it. They seemed so happy. I asked my mom about it after school, and she just laughed and said I shouldn't listen to nonsense. At dinner that night, she told my dad. She was laughing about it, and my dad was real quiet, though. He said, Susan, Susan's my mother's name, Susan, we need to speak privately. And then a week later, he moved out. I've always wondered if Stuart actually caused my parents' divorce. Stuart is scary. Hi, I'm Mike Voster, and I teach band. This is my first year teaching anywhere, and I'm super excited. You see, I'm a young teacher, and being a young teacher, I know all the best knowledge, I know all the latest technology, etc., etc. Some of these teachers were actually born in the 1900s. I mean, when they were in school, were there even computers? Were there phones? All the best knowledge has only recently been discovered well after those teachers were in school. Confidentially, I don't see how the kids can learn anything from those old dinosaurs. Hello, Mr. Vosture. Uh, hello. Didn't see you there. Hey, hey, don't touch anything. We won't. Can we ask you something? Eric, I am not going to play violin at your virtual homecoming promposal. I already told you that. I know, it's not that. You're gonna ask somebody to homecoming? No. Then why would you need violin music? I don't. He's not doing it. I'm not doing it. Who are you gonna ask? No one. I'm not doing it. Who were you gonna ask? Shut up. Guys, what do you want? Hey! Don't 
touch anything. I'm not. I'm not you, the dummy with the drumsticks. Mr. Vosher, do you recognize this? Yeah, I'm looking for that everywhere. Where'd you find it? Think method? What is this? Well, it's one of the newest teachings in the field of large ensemble music. It's a new innovation where instead of teaching students notes and fingerings, you just play a recording of the music for them and have them think about it and visualize it for a few weeks. Finally, when you give the students their instruments, they just instinctually know how to play it. The think method! The music man! Aww. <laughs> Some people call me that. It's silly. I'm not the music man. Many people are excellent at music. No, that's from the hit Broadway musical, The Music Man. What is? The Think Method. No, The Music Man came out in the 50s. This is a new theory. No, it's old and it was used by a con man to steal money from well-meaning parents. Give me that. What does this have to do with the vandalism? Is Mr. Boster a suspect? Well, don't you think it's just a little suspicious? We should be a little suspicious to some hot-looking dude who just blew into town to con some parents out of instrument money? Someone needs to lock up Andy Huber. I don't get it. The con man goes after the town librarian, Marion. Whoa! I am not a con man, and librarians are not my type. Also, in all the years since the class of 1939 graduated, there has never been any vandalism perpetrated upon the class photo. Until this guy came to town. That's 71 years. Wrong. Mm, 112 years. Wrong. 76 years. Wrong. How embarrassing for you. It's 81 years. You are correct, sir. 81 years without any vandalism. Wait, that, that's all you've got? Yeah. Thank you for your time. Daisy and I aren't friends anymore because she stole my boyfriend. He wasn't your boyfriend. You knew I liked him. Yes but I liked him too, and he picked me. And you picked him over me. We've been best friends since we were babies. I didn't look at it like that. I just, I'm sorry, Daisy. You know I love you. I didn't realize it affected you that much. It hurt me. I see that now. I just thought you were jealous and would get over it. I'll tell Johnny I can't go to the dance with him. Your friendship means too much to me to lose over a boy. I'm just saying that I don't think Stuart's adding much to the investigation. He accuses a lot, but nothing goes anywhere. Were you sleeping? Just resting my eyes. Why are you guys always in here? We need somewhere to do the questioning. Why here? We like the way your room's decorated. It's so retro. Hey, how's the investigation going? Fine. Yeah? Any suspects? Some. Anyone I know? You probably know them all. We're interviewing April Wagner next. Ugh. I'm out of here. COVID! 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 If anyone's getting COVID in this transaction, it's me. I'm clean. Get a Ramstad. Interrogation time. Aw, oh, I thought you forgot about me. How can I forget about you? You're my leading suspect. Me? I am? Awesome. That's bad, Gator. It means he thinks you did it. I know what it means. But so far, his record's pretty bad. So that means if he thinks I did it, I'm probably the last person to have done it. You see? Not really. This is the place. I brought April. You wanted to question her. Thank you, Angela. Please, have a seat. Thanks. You can go, Angela. But I brought her. You can go, Angela. But I want to listen. You can go, Angela. I'm here for the interview. You're early. Showing up early is supposed to be good. It shows the boss you want the job. This isn't a job interview. It's an interrogation. I just want to say up front, I won't accept anything less than 11 an hour. Just sit. 
What about me? I've got to get to lunch. And you were doing me before they came. A group speed interrogation. Timestamp, Wednesday, 1.11 p.m. Stuart, you've trained your whole life for this. You can do it. Lindsay, can I talk to you? Why? Just come out of the hall. I'll be right back. Gator, sit there. April, sit here. Ryan, sit here. Angela, get out. What? I don't think I can do all three of you at once. That's what she's... Never mind. Mr. Jenkins, I need your help. You too. I'm sorry about what happened the other day. I want to explain. I just don't get why you get so upset over a stupid joke. I know it seems stupid to you, but it really bugs me. Everyone treats it like a joke. Every time I get introduced, people smile and ask me to sing Arthur's theme. But do they though? Does anybody really remember Christopher Cross songs? I would never know about him if I didn't know you. Old people know him. And if they're too young to remember that guy, they definitely remember Criss Cross with a K. Dumb little hip-hop kids. You could go by Topher. That's dumb. <laughs> I'm just trying to help. I know, I know you are. Chris, listen. I promise you that nobody cares about your name except you. They only tease you about it because you go so crazy. But I don't like looking stupid in front of you. I don't think you look stupid. You don't? No. And I know that you didn't mess with those photos. I didn't. I know. I'm sorry. Okay, and begin. April Wagner, why did you deface the class of 1939 photo? I didn't. Ryan Smith, why did you deface the class of 1939 photo? What? Gator Ramsdale, why did you deface the class of 1939 photo? The devil made me do it! Did you do it? No! Keep going! Why are you- Keep like... going! April, why did you stare at the class of 1939 photos so much? I didn't. Yes, you did! Oh, sorry, sorry. Keep going. Ryan Smith, have you ever heard of Gwen Stefani? Yes. Why am I asking him that? Get a ranch down. Why do you pretend to be dumb when you're actually smart? Because people are intimidated by smart people. They don't like them. April White, you were witnessed many times to be staring at the class of 1939 photo. What do you have to say about that? It wasn't on purpose. Ryan Smith, did you ever send Gwen Stefani a DM on Instagram? What is this? Just tell him to answer the question. Answer the question! Yes, how'd you know that? Uh, it isn't me. Get a ranch Do you think that if I pretended to be dumb, people wouldn't be so intimidated by me? No, your personality is weird. People are freaked out by you. April! Why would you accidentally stare at something? Because I have a glass eye, okay? I try to hide it. Oh, I didn't know. I'm sorry. Ryan! In your DM to Gwen Stefani, did you tell her that you would do something cool to get her to love you? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I sent Gwen that DM when I was 13. What I meant by something cool was that I was going to be the first Pokemon trainer to try to catch them all. Pokemon Go had just came out then. How does Stuart know all these things? I'm humiliated. Lindsay, will you go to the virtual homecoming with me? I want to, but before I say yes, I have to ask you something. Okay. Why were you going to break up with me before the 8th grade dance? It wasn't my idea. Remember how I was best friends with Steve Hall throughout middle school? Yeah, I liked him. Well, you shouldn't have. You see, the whole time you and I were a couple, he was pushing me to break up with you. And then at the end of the year, he said I had to be free for the summer. Free for what? You know, to hang out, do guy stuff. And he said that if I had a girlfriend, it wouldn't be fun. And I believed him. But that summer, we just hung out in his basement with his little brother and played Super Smash Bros. It wasn't even that fun. We finally got into a big fight, and I blamed him for making me break up with you. That's when I started hanging out with Trevor and Johnny. Oh. Yeah, I was stupid, I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this. Well, I wanted to tell you, but you were so mad at me, it just seemed like a lost cause. I'm sorry about that. I was, I just, I just missed you. 
the you that I liked. And yes, I would love to go to the virtual homecoming dance with you. This is the part where, if this was normal real life, we'd kiss. Keep going! April, can you take your glass eye out? That's not the question! The question doesn't make sense! And I want to know. Fine, answer the question. Yeah, want to see? Absolutely I do! Brian Smith! So you didn't plan to vandalize the photo to impress Gwen Stefani? No, that was years ago, and now she's married to that cowboy guy. I don't think they're married, are they? They are definitely living together. Here's the eye. Oh. They aren't married yet. Gwen wanted to wait until her previous marriage to Gavin Roscoe was annulled so that she could get married in the Catholic Church. Impressive knowledge recall. Have you considered joining the Scholastic Bowl team? Will they take someone with just one working eye? <laughs> we'll take anyone. <laughs> just ask Stuart. They'll take anyone. This eye is wet. <laughs> what? Don't you throw up in here. <laughs> get out! Get out! Right now! Both of you! <laughs> I told Johnny I couldn't go to the dance with him, and then he asked Daisy, and she said yes! It was our plan all along. He and I were meant to be together. You're a disgusting pig of a girl. I gotta say, Daisy, that was a pretty low move. But it's what I wanted. What about what Gianna wanted? She just wanted me to be happy. You're a vile, slimy slug of a human being. Here, <coughs> <coughs> take this. What is it? An eyeball! What? My eye! It's just a glass eye. The socket juice made Eric sick. You got it. Is April a fake eye? Yes. And she's joining Scholastic Bowl. She is? That's awesome. Oh, hi, Gianna. I heard you aren't going to the dance with Johnny anymore. Yeah, because some stinky, fat, poop smelling ex friend of mine. Do you mean me? Because that's slander. And that camera right there just caught you saying it. Yeah, so there was a security camera there the whole time. I don't know how I missed that. Not sure why Mrs. Murphy didn't think of that at the very beginning either. So we went to the office and asked to see the film for that night. And there, on camera, very clearly, we saw the vandal switching out the photo. It wasn't Chris, of course. But I have to say I was surprised it wasn't Trevor Donnelly. I said I didn't do it, and I didn't. If you really want to make a good documentary, be there the morning of Christmas break. You know the school office lady, Miss Hellmouth or whatever? I'm gonna fill up her room with upside down cups of ice. That way when it melts, there will be no way to clean it up without making a mess. It's gonna be my most pre-planned prank ever. It's gonna be epic. He's gonna do what? I'm not the vandal. I only do heights. Wait. Am I being filmed? Are those cameras? Did I do it? No, I wasn't even a suspect. Besides, I'm too busy for crime. Look at this. See this? These are my Scholastic Bowl team stats. And this is just from this year. And we've only had two practices. Come here, look at this. This is fascinating. Hey, hey, where are you going? Come back, this is good stuff! When we saw the video, we couldn't believe who did it. Stuart tried to say that he solved the crime because the perpetrator was on his list. But we all know the truth. Yeah, I did it. I didn't think anyone would notice as quickly as they did. Plus, I thought it was funny. Don't worry, historians. I have the original safely in a storage unit. No members of the class in 1939 were harmed in the making of this prank. I do feel, however, that the punishment is a bit extreme for the crime. Two pounds down, 1,498 to go. I regret everything. 
Virtual homecoming was awesome. We had the best time. And guess what? Show them, honey. We're engaged. Timestamp 2020. I got offered the long haul trucking job, but I turned it down. It was a real sweet offer too. The thing is, I love my students too much. I just couldn't leave them. Oh, and my family too, of course. That goes without saying. Daisy went to virtual homecoming with Johnny, and I went with Ryan, who is a senior, by the way. Yeah, but Johnny turned out to be kind of a jerk. And Ryan wouldn't stop talking about how much he hates Blake Shelton. It was weird. So, we decided our fight was stupid, and we're besties again. Woohoo! <laughs> Plus, we were right the whole time. It was a parent teacher who did the vandalism. We're geniuses. We really are. We don't have girlfriends anymore. Who needs girls anyway? Exactly. We're going to have a girls free Christmas break and it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Oh, oops. What's happening here? What are you filming? Is this for the documentary? I thought it was over. It's just a follow-up. Oh. Do you need to follow up with me? What the heck? Hey, Angela. Do you have any plans for Christmas break? Not really. Why? Do you want to do some socially distanced hanging out? Hey! I'd love to. Johnny, what are you doing? What, what happened to boys' Xmas? Cool. Do you like snowmobiles? I love snowmobiles. I like snowmobiles. Come on. We can make plans. Johnny's a tool. So I looked a little bit into my grandpa's life recently, and it turns out he was a part of the old timey Galena KKK. But get this, my grandma said it was a social club at the time. A social club? Yeah, sure. How did I get a glass eye? Well, that's an interesting story. You see, one day my eye felt a little funny. And when I looked at it in the mirror, it looked a little bit smaller. And the next day, it was even smaller. Two weeks later, and it was pea-sized, rolling around in my socket. And one week later, and it shrunk to nothing. And my mom said, your eye's gone. Better get a new one. So I got a glass eye. <laughs> Just kidding. My brother accidentally poked it out with a stick. It didn't even hurt. I've got a new plan. I'm going to be a movie star. You know, like Jaden Smith. He didn't even finish primary school before he was in the movies. Yeah, I'm going to be like Jaden Smith. Only white. See you in Hollywood, suckers. So we went to virtual homecoming. And it was fun. And now we're an official couple. Yep. And I'm much cooler about the whole 70s music icon thing. He's really embraced it. In fact, let me show you. Come on. Yeah, we cracked that crime. Vandals have no place at Galena High School, or Galena Middle School, or Galena Primary School. I'm in charge of all three schools. Yeah, I'm a pretty important guy.
find five, take five. So what year did you graduate high school? 1993. What high school did you go to? Woonsocket High School. Were you in sports? Oh, absolutely. I was a high performance athlete. <laughs> did you have a girlfriend in high school? Uh, many probably wish I would have been with them. <laughs> and did you go to any school dances? I would have liked to have gone to some school dances. Uh, but I was awkward back then. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Oh, the candles can do 